uh, from the fans that said, you scored 30 points in one quarter, Vern. Take us through that performance from what you remember. Damn. Did I didn't it, even know that one. 30 yeah. ball. Yeah. Did it feel any different well, than like a, a good shooting night? Just tell, What do you remember about that? I, I should, no, I started out slow and shit, I think. I don't know. But I, I started out slow. And then, shit, I was always watch Mike kill Craig Elo. <laughs> and shit. And then I was like, shit, ain't no white boy really never guarded me. So, you know, and um, so, and um, I just got going um, in the second half, really got going. Um, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I ended up with 51 that night, had 30 in, 30 in the fourth quarter. Damn. And it was this night when I just, shit, I was throwing that shit over my head. That shit was going in. I was like, oh, shit. I, oh, yeah, I tried that shit. <laughs> that shit was luck as hell. I was throwing shit over my head like this shit. Niggas grabbing, check, yeah. grabbing my arm, turning me around. I'm throwing it back like this way. And I'm just like, it was just, everything was falling for me. And then Rudy T. Tuck Dream out the game. And like I told y'all, it was Dream. And then it was Max. Mm-hmm. It was my night that night. And Rudy T. ran literally every fucking play in the fourth quarter for, you. for me to get That's my shit That's a good coach, off, though. Man. Yeah, he's, yeah. So went from coaching and. It was just a blessed night, man. I was, shit. I don't really remember that shit like that. So, but um, but it was I was out of out of body experience type shit. So, but I was, it was a, it was a good night that night. Man, that, that, <laughs> yeah, I say so. Fifty one, yeah. like thirty that ball that in the fourth. Yeah, yeah that that was throwing it in the ocean, <laughs> like you throwing it in the ocean out that motherfucker. So, yeah, throwing a piece of paper in a yeah. thirty gallon can yeah, or something. You, <laughs> just like that. That's <laughs> right. Man, thirty and a quarter. Yeah, that's right. What would you say? What was your welcome to the NBA moment? Mm, probably um, mm, when I, I mean, my first night in, I mean, I had what, 15, I think, first night and shit. That's when I knew I belonged in. I was like, shit, okay. I can do this. this yeah, I could do this shit. I belong now. I, I see how to get this shit off. But, you know, I mean, I, I, I was my first NBA game when, when I walked out there and it was surreal. I was for real in the NBA, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Shit, that's when I, I, yeah, I was ready." That was that was the moment. Your very first game. Some people say it take them a little bit. You knew just immediately. It's like, nah, this yeah. is where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, well, I, you know, like I said, I was, I had a chip on my shoulder and shit, you know, from where I got drafted at. And there's a lot of motherfuckers went in front of me, and I just wanted to let all these motherfuckers know. See, these motherfuckers wasn't better than me. Now, goddamn, now <laughs> I had long careers, and all the motherfuckers went like, mm-hmm. and. Fifth pick, six picks. I had long careers in all of them, motherfuckers. So, I mean, but I knew why, and I got the drafted the way I did. But, but right, like right. I told you, but yeah. Mm-mm. You remember how you got the nickname Mad Max? How or slash when you got it? Well, you, you know, she, you know, these motherfucking white folks, they change your name real quick. <laughs> that's, why you gotta, that's why you got to ask brother, sometimes. Yeah, this motherfucker changed my name from Vernon Maxwell to Mad Max. My brother's called me Mad Max on the TV. My mom was like, what the fuck? What the hell they call you Mad Maxwell? What the hell is that? <laughs> Who, is that? Who is that? Who is that? They was talking about Mad Max on the free throw. Like, shit, shit, you won't even call you your name no more. But um, the media... Yep. Change that shit, called me and start calling me Mad Max, and everybody jumped on the shit. Everybody, that, I don't think my name, motherfucker say Vernon now, I don't even turn around. <laughs> yeah, I that. just, motherfucker gotta say Mad Max, hey, not for me to turn around. Who's that? Who's that? Yeah, Mad Max, you say Vernon, I'm shit, I might keep walking on your motherfucker. It's probably this motherfucker ain't shit. He ain't saying nothing to me. He hear me calling his damn name, he won't acknowledge me. But I don't really know goddamn Vernon no more like that. <laughs> All Mad Max, oh, yeah. Yeah, so don't, the, the white folks changed my name. Mm. Yeah, just like they did Kunta Kente. <laughs> <laughs> that man name was no goddamn Kunta Kente. They changed that motherfucker man name. They said it's your name now. Right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now, on social media, on Twitter, you got a back, big back and forth, you and Utah Jazz. Yeah. Is, that still, is that still ongoing? Yeah, I just, you know, I mean, the motherfuckers, they, they, they torched my ass when I was out there playing. You know how they be in yep. Utah. Them motherfuckers will call you a nigga so fast out there in Utah in the stands. And then everybody around him act like that ain't a fucked up word. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, everybody be, oh, call, call, call. you called him a nigga. Oh. I was like, man. And then I, once I got a platform, like I, like you say, my own my, my own podcast. And, mm-hmm. and before that, you know, I just get on and I just go up, just talk about the motherfuckers. About they don't have the internet. And, and <laughs> I had a goddamn... I had a goddamn uh, basketball camp out there, and you, man, you got to see the footage on this shit. 
I'm gonna let y'all see this after we get off of here. <laughs> this shit is so crazy. This camp, these motherfuckers cannot, cannot play basketball. You got to see this the, shit. The fine people of Utah. Motherfuckers, yeah, they throwing the bitch over the backboard, nigga. I'm it look good. like a movie. No, oh my goodness, <laughs> that's no shit. This shit look worse than the movie. This shit, this motherfuckers. I mean, you got to see this shit. I, well, I, we gonna, we gonna, I'm gonna show you. We have to get the footage. <laughs> no, I got to give y'all this footage. This shit's gonna be fun as hell. <laughs> so, had you been beef with it like before you went into the the fan or went went to the stands with the fan? Like it just been ongoing always with Utah. Well, and and when you go into little redneck ass cities and shit like Utah and Portland and all the motherfucking little places like that, the motherfuckers got some say. You know, the motherfuckers talk bad to you. Only thing I like about that shit out there in Portland is, you know, the motherfuckers, they got that, they had that good grass out there. <laughs> 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 motherfuckers shit. Motherfuckers get you, motherfuckers you get you out. Good right? drove. Uh, yeah. Get your whole goddamn pound for about 200 back in them days. Boy, you, <laughs> yeah. Goddamn, you motherfuckers you take care of old Max out there in Portland. I be goddamn dope dealer on the plane. <laughs> I just bring all that goddamn dope. Boy, we go out there on the West Coast, boy, I bring something from, Get me a pound from fucking goddamn uh, L.A. Okay. Or get me a pound from fucking Portland. Get me a fucking pound from Seattle. <laughs> goddamn. You already know. I goddamn got all this dope up under the plane. Vancouver, I can't, Vern? Oh, yeah. Well, well, and Vancouver. Yeah, that's my fucking. I got to have so I used to have about five pounds up under that motherfucker. Boy, just <laughs> sealed up. Can't wait to get back to the motherfucker. We want to, but want to bust that motherfucker up at the next destination. I'd be like, God damn, I don't I was dope. I can't get in this motherfucker. But, <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> Who had the what cities had the worst worst tree situation? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh back then East Coast. Back then, yeah, yeah, that East Coast. That's some dirt. Yeah. That shit was dirt. bad news. Dirt, seeds and stems and all kind mm -hmm. of fucked up shit. Some mumps. Mm. Yeah. I got a question. <laughs> Can you talk about Bo Outlaw's free throw shot? Mm. Was he the most unique quirky he's ever seen? That's my guy, Bo, man. Bo? Bo, I'm sorry. That shit looked afflicted as hell. <laughs> oh, that shit not, not as bad as, as, as Chuck Hayes. Hey, yeah, hell, that's, oh, that's, that's Kentucky family that's, now. That's, that's my guy. That's Chuck, that's my guy. <laughs> oh, my mm. goodness, yeah. But Bo, yeah, it was, he was, it was different. I mean, shit. So, but Bo's good man. That's my guy, man. That's, yeah. the, that's the one man press. Yes, I'm trying that's to the tell only, you. That's yes. the only dude I've seen. That could do a one man yeah. press. That's right. No help. No, that's right. I don't wow. need no help. Y'all go down there. I got all all, these, all these three, four dudes in this front court. I got. I got all them motherfuckers run from one to the other and be. <laughs> some motherfucker was tough. Yes, play with a motor. Mm -hmm. Is that who are some of your favorite teammates? If I don't have to be like superstar, no guy, shit, but who uh, who are some of your favorites? Shit, I some have, more memorable. I mean, I mean Sam, Sam, Otis Thorpe, Mario. Man, if I forget some of you motherfuckers, man, don't believe, don't take the don't hold this shit. <laughs> don't man. take a person. Now, nigga just got through smoking and shit before I came in here, so don't be holding that shit against me. Oh, shit, who else? I've uh, Ben Baker, Horace Grant, um, Alvin Robinson, uh, Shaman. Shaman was a good one. You know, what I mean, that was my young boy. Oh, shit, who else? Um, it was a lot of motherfuckers, man. I just, I'm like I say, like we said, man, it's a paternity, man. That's I have. All these guys, man, it's family to me like that. So, mm. yeah. If Penny never got hurt, where do you think he ranks among some of the best point guards or best guards to ever play? Penny was a problem. Um, one of the first six nine, six eight point guards we've seen. You know, uh, he was a part problem, man. Uh, uh, I think when they put little Penny out there, it kind of fucked him up. They should have left little Penny in the damn bank. <laughs> Why? Why you say that? Because he got bought in all that shit, man. And you know, you get caught like up sometimes. Him, and you get caught up in that shit, man. And uh, you know, instead of doing your job and shit. But uh, yeah, Penny was a problem though. But uh, yeah, I think they should have left little Penny out of the way of that shit. Well, you know why they put little Penny in there? Because with, with Penny having a quiet personality. It was like, all right, uh, we need little Penny to be a loud yeah, mouth. Yeah, he was a loud mouth. Okay, yeah. And he, then it was with Nike. True. And Chris right, Rock, right? right? Chris yep, Rock was right, little Penny, yep, wasn't it? Right, yeah. 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 And then we right. all, yeah, we all know how Chris Rock could be. Right, right, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, because Penny wasn't, he don't talk, he don't say mm -hmm. shit. Quiet as a motherfucking mouse. <laughs> Man, a few words. That's it. Yeah. 